In order to contract a muscle, the motor neuron must be excited, which transmits to the motor unit and following to the motor end plate. From the motor end plate, an action potential is passed onto the muscle. The nervous system will only switch on as much muscle as it needs to overcome the resistance. Let's say your car has a flat battery and you want to roll start it. Your girlfriend tries to push the car, but the car doesn't move. So you get a couple of big burly blokes who are walking by to jump in and lend a hand. Your girlfriend and the blokes push and get the car rolling up to speed so you can start it. In this example, the girlfriend is the slow twitch muscle, which is engaged first. If it cannot overcome the load, then the fast twitch muscles are recruited. As the resistance increases, so too must the recruitment of fast twitch fibres. Simply put, when you think of motor unit recruitment, think of a rowing team where the coach is the central nervous system telling the motor units to switch on and the motor units are the rowers. In this analogy, the rowers can be faster, slower, bigger, trained, untrained, and can have good timing or poor timing, just like motor units in a muscle. So a strength limitation is not just related to muscle size. It can also be related to motor unit development.